Go back to your country. Ghanaian Wig Sellers Association shuts down a wig fair organized by Nigerian owned hair brand priceless hair for selling hair at a cheaper rate welcome back to my channel you guys this one is actually a very sensitive one because if you notice i believe that there is this huge love between ghana and nigeria i don't want to believe what is all over social media but i believe that nigerians treat Ghanaians as brothers Ghanaians treat nigerians as brothers and that's on period okay so this whole thing happened earlier today where you know there was a fair happening and um, a particular hair boss a nigerian based in ghana accra to be precise they had a fair and she decided to slash her price cheaper probably because she wanted to gain customers and and all that okay and some Ghanaians let me say her fellow sellers or her fellow um her colleagues we are not having it because they felt you can't come all the way from nigeria to ghana to pack all the money back to nigeria so the lady was seen i think the whole place was sealed you know there was there were chaos here and there a lot of disagreements and the likes so the lady was seen explaining that they should ignore the fact that she's here i'm talking about the priceless week the owner the, the nigerian based um hair vendor in ghana or rather something like that you guys get what i mean so she was trying to explain the fact that she's a medical doctor that they should forget the fact that she's here you know selling hair that she earns in dollars that's at in us okay whether Ghanaians like it or not even if they don't want her to sell today what whatever thing they want that she earns in dollars and she does not care so people kept saying things in the comment section ordinary ghana what is there in ghana to take this that you know how can Ghanaians, you know blacks africans are we are our own problems how can we come to if how can you tell your fellow african to leave your country just because of greed you know people we are calling it tag this selfishness a lot of people there were a lot of disagreements here and there but this is my own take okay for me i feel you are I don't know if there are rules and regulation guiding this because I understand some businesses here in Nigeria they allow they have some set down rules and regulation. Maybe they will advise you not to sell at this particular price. But if it is a fair, if it's an open fair, I believe you have right to sell any amount you wish to sell. If they want, they can also reduce their money to you know drag keep dragging customers. That is my own take. Okay, but I would like to know your take in the comment section, even right here in Nigeria. Eurobars have actually ordered Ibos to leave Lagos down to Eastern part. If you've been following up, you know, the last previous election, you know, a lot of Ibos were not even allowed to come and vote in Lagos because they feel you are going to vote in your candidates. You know, so I believe this racism, or what I call it, this whole thing is everywhere. It's even in inter country, not to talk of outside the country. So I would like to know what you guys have to say, but I'm going to allow you to watch this video. We'll be right back. If I do sales online this night, this minute, I'll finish everything in this bed. Do you understand? Yes, I do week fair just to reach out, just to see people. We have a lot of clients in Accra here, you guys. Okay, so what I'm just doing is to reach out. If it is to sell and make money, I will make money online. I came to Ghana to do my birthday. I've not posted my birthday party, that is why you are saying 40 and priceless. You understand? So it is not my business, I'll be honest with you. I can decide to shut down this venue and go back today. God has done it like that. I'm a medical doctor. Do you understand? In the US, not in Nigeria. Do you understand? I make money in dollars. I can survive with my medical money. Do you understand? Yes. That is why I can decide to crash the prices like this. And that is what their problem is. It is not my problem. So if you guys let them to shut the place down, we shut it down. They will shut it down. So someone actually said there was a time Nigerians asked Ghanaians to leave their country. The time of Ghana must go. Do you guys think it's just a bag that it's it happened? Okay, and it happened in Nigeria back then. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Just generally let me know what you think about this. But for me, I think this is not right. We are all one, we are Africans, okay? And do subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.